Harry Potter fans now have a very important date on their calendar. That's right, July 8th. That's when the Diagon Alley expansion is set to open at Universal Orlando. And this morning, we are getting a sneak peek. Jason Guy is out there live this morning. Jason, you've been walking around the entire park this morning, and we just heard that you're drinking butter beer. It's a little <laughs> early for that, isn't it? <laughs> Well, butter beer is non-alcoholic, guys. Now, they do have some brews that are for the adult crowd, and we're going to talk all about that with the man of the hour. This guy has my heart because he's in charge of food and beverage. Rick Farrell, Florell, joining me this morning. Rick, thanks for being with us. Good morning. I'm glad to be here. And you brought me a treat. What's this? you a treat. This is butter beer flavored ice cream. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off your hands. And, uh, well, yeah, Let me hold you, this. Let me interview that? you while you sit there and you enjoy... The newest thing that we're going to be offering right, so at the I, Wizarding World Harry Potter. I'm going to enjoy all this. Tell us, because there are so many offerings. We've we've got some brews over at the Leaky Cauldron. Right. What have what have right. you guys introduced? Well, when you talked about the brews at Leaky Cauldron, we have two. One is a sweet stout called Wizard's Brew, and the other is an ale that st or starts out as an ale, winds up as a lager that we call Dragon Scale Lager. Oh, I like the name. In honor of our dragon up there. And which then we is have a cool a, feature. Which yeah. is a very, very cool feature. We have some unique items down at Leaky Cauldron, one called Toad in the Hole, uh -huh. which is a traditional English uh, Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding with a couple of little bangers in the middle of it. It's just a lot of fun to eat. <laughs> toad in the hole. I love the name. Toad in the hole. Name. The people love to order it. They say, I'll have a toad in the hole, please. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it sounds great. And then you've got the ice cream. This is butterbeer ice cream. Yeah. I just had a couple of uh, spoonfuls. Okay. It is amazing. Something that uh, I can't wait to finish off during this uh, next break when I send it back in those, to those guys. And then we've got, of course, the butterbeer. That became famous when the first phase of this it expansion opened. And you're a butterbeer fan, I understand. Oh, I so love it. You have to tell me how you like the butterbeer ice cream. It's great. I mean, it was always almost like ice cream anyway. It was this delicious treat, and now to have it as ice cream, guys, I, I couldn't say uh, any more about it. And you know what you got to do? You don't just go with a spoon. You go right off the top. Mm. You just take a big old bite. It's delicious. They're feeding me well this morning and treating me so great. We're going to take you around the corners and show you some of the, the other twists and turns that await you here at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Diagon Alley, and I'm going to finish this up, guys, as they send it back inside to you. Jason, just got so you my know, throat there, Rick. That entire <laughs> segment that you just did, including that ice cream part at the end, we're going to post it online. <laughs>